Next question is from Pat of Blanc. I don't feel that shrugs do much for my traps. Can I swap them for farmer's walks on my workouts? Are there better alternatives? So first off, like uh, yes. But second, let's talk about shrugs for a second. It's not just pulling the shoulders up. If you pull the shoulders up and back, you'll feel it in the trap. So think about you're not going straight up, but you're going up, but back, a bit of a back angle, almost like you're trying to shrug behind your ears. Mm-hmm. Totally hits the traps differently, and you'll feel more of a squeeze. Now, that being said, there is some there are some phenomenal trap extra. Farmer walks are great. The one exercise that I've never felt anything hammer my traps like this following exercise ever is the wide grip snatch grip pulls. Yeah. Yeah. I'd never done them before until we did uh, Map Strong. And we, we created that with Robert Oberst, right? He's a strong man competitor. And he was like adamant. No, no, we got to put this exercise in the program. It really works for my shoulder girdle. It makes me really strong. So when I followed the program, and I went light, right? Because it's kind of an explosive movement. I have never felt my traps work like I did, like that exercise. And so if you really want to hit your traps... Yeah. Give that one a shot. It's I great. like, yeah, I definitely like farmer walks for that isometric contraction, but what really blew my traps up was hang cleans. Uh, hang yeah. cleans to a press were yeah. unbelievable for my traps. It's just because it's, it's so explosive and, um, you know, getting those fast twitch muscle fibers, like, activated, like, helped to really develop more size uh, up, up in my traps. So I, I definitely think that you look into that. I had to be. I had, think I was the only, at least in my gym, for sure. Where there, there was quite a few men's physique athletes in there. I think I for sure was the only men's physique athlete that was doing hang cleans to a press. Like, just it's not a common exercise you see, especially in the bodybuilding and sculpting mm-hmm. type of world. It's definitely a more athletic type of exercise. But boy, do I remember those blow. I think, and it's just when you think about it, because the point that Sal's making about how you shrug kind of. Up and back. Up and yeah. back. And it's because of set. Yeah, yeah, because of the, the way the traps run, right? They're like this, you know, kind of diamond diamond shape in your upper back, and they're they're responsible not only for lifting your shoulders up, but also pulling, helping yeah. pull the scapula back. So both the pulling of the scapula and the elevating of the shoulders is incorporated in in the trap the traps movement, right? So doing a hang clean, you get that. You have to. You rip it up and back, mm-hmm. and then the press part. They also re- are responsible for stabilizing the shoulder girdle. So if you are if you're ripping up a heavy weight, you get that, and it, and they're explosive. What else do you do explosively for traps? They just don't get a lot of a uh, explosive training and all the other traditional exercises. And you can get and because it's explosive, you can move pretty good weight, and then jerking it up or pressing it up over your head, and then the stabilizing portion. Yep. Oh, so you want to know what's interesting uh, is that the traps, the neck, and the shoulders are all typically higher in androgen receptor density versus other muscles. So and the androgen receptors are the receptors that testosterone attaches to. And incidentally, traps, shoulders, and neck, you'll see in men, tends to be much more developed versus any other muscle group versus women, right? It's, they're very, they tend to be dense in androgen receptors, which is why I think of all the muscles I can think of, the traps and the shoulders, they really respond well to explosive movements more than other muscles. I mean... You don't necessarily like build huge biceps with explosive, you know, hang cleans and stuff, even though biceps are involved, but you see the traps yeah. really blow up. Uh, here's another exercise for traps. Uh, Lee Haney, who won Mr. Olympia, I think, eight times, he did this version of barbell shrugs where it was behind his back. So he put the barbell behind his back and he almost, it's like he had to do almost a bit of a row, right, to get it was clear forearm past cool. his glutes. But it, I've tried it out. Now, go real light because it's a weird exercise, but oh my God, does it hit the track? Because it, re- it forces you to bring your shoulders back and kind of do that movement uh, with the shrugs. And man, does it hammer uh, the traps. 